This is Twit. So Bloomberg and the information both publishing the most details yet we've seen about glasses coming coming from Apple. And this was a uh, information exclusive new mixed reality headset details, swappable headbands, eye tracking. Mark Gurman also had a lot of details. At this point, I think it has to be kind of at least somewhat true. Um, they're saying $3,000. At least that's the price Apple is discussing. Uh, they're also saying... <laughs> <laughs> it, makes, it makes Google Glass look like a good I deal. know! You can get two pairs of glass. Don't, um, don't tell well, me. I don't want to make that mistake again. So these are... It's interesting. These are mixed reality. At least according... Again, this is all rumors. And I should also point out, they're probably, these prototypes probably do exist in the Apple Labs. We've heard enough about it. But that doesn't mean Apple will ever come to market with it. Apple prototypes a lot of things. They're always looking for the next big thing. They're looking, they need mm -hmm. to find another iPhone. But... I think this makes kind of sense. Tim Cook has said many, many times in analyst calls and speeches, augmented reality, augmented reality. He really thinks it's the next big thing. Um, th the rumor is this device has 12 cameras. Uh, it has a accompanying thimble that you put on your finger. The cameras recognize motion. You can use your fingers. They also show you the outside world. So that's why this is not a virtual reality. You're not sealed in. But, uh, but you see you see the world around you as well as superimposed information. Dual Leo 8K screens, the best I've seen from anybody, including Oculus, is 4K. So this is a lot higher resolution. That's a good thing, by the way, because you're, you're only a few inches away from those screens. You want to make them look good. Mike, go ahead. Yeah, no, I, I, I talked to um, Alex Heath, who got the scoop for the information about 45 minutes after this went live. Um, and... So the thing to 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 keep in mind is that there are variations in the right in the in the in the prototype you saw. So, for example, the most cameras uh, were fourteen. Wow. There were all, most of the prototypes had at least a dozen. So um, the the eight K uh, screens is not one hundred percent certain that that's what it's going to be. I. There's good reasons for that. That's expensive, and it drains battery really fast, and that's right, going to be an exactly. issue, too. In fact, the early Ooh. prototypes we heard, I don't know if Alex talked about this, the early prototypes we heard make, made your neck strain because they were so heavy that it would push your head, push your head yeah. down. <laughs> that's not good. Yeah. What else did well, Alex tell you? Well, the other thing that, um, that, that we were sort of going back and forth about was the fact that the... Because uh, they saw a very high-res render, and they were allowed by the source to do a cartoonish low res version. Oh, yes. But but the the render they saw did not have a top strap. Now typically uh VR glasses that are heavy have a strap ac across uh, across the top of your head to help support the weight whereas this does not which suggests maybe it's pretty light. Um another thing that's really interesting about this is that you you talk about all those cameras, some of them are for looking at the outside world for augmented reality and mixed reality. Some of them are pointed at your eye gaze. So the 8K display, you're not looking, you're not getting 16K coming at your face. What you're getting is high res where you're looking oh. and low res where you're not looking. Well, that makes sense. That's kind of yeah. how your eyes work. There's only a very <laughs> narrow cone of, of acuity and almost everything else is very fuzzy. Yeah, exactly. And so um, this is called foveated rendering in, in yeah, the trade. That's how the fovea works. Um, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And and so I, 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 the other thing that's very interesting, and you you hit hit upon it, whereas these are these are set up for virtual reality, and Apple has been very negative about virtual reality in the past, and very 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 positive about augmented reality. So I think there's a there's a pretty good chance that they're not going to be super into um, virtual reality, that the, these th these glasses are going to be used for augmented reality, constantly showing you what's in the real world. Again, with mixed reality, it's going to combine virtual and augmented reality and also 360 video, which these will be great for. <clears throat> but I think, I think what we can look forward to is a transition from the, sort of the precursor to augmented reality, which currently exists in the iPad and the iPhone. There's all kinds of development going on with, with AR, all kinds of apps available for AR. This is going to transition to these high-end yeah. uh, glasses. In fact, there's some speculation this may be a kind of developer's version 
to Just get the like developers that. going. Google Glass. Glass. The By the way, I'm sitting with two people who bought Google Glass. Uh, yes. Actually, I should include myself. Uh, I bought it but never wore it, which is even stupider. <laughs> I bought it and gave it to Jason Howell. Owen, did you buy Google Glass? Because if you did, then it's uh, it's complete. I, I, I resisted, though. I wrote some really dumb things about Google Glass. <laughs> like <laughs> like positive awesome. articles? Like, this is going to be yeah, great? Yeah, actually, actually uh, uh, you, you, you guys will howl, but I wrote that Path was going to be the killer app for Google Glass. What was Path, the, the oh, mobile I social loved network Path. for Dave Moore. Oh, man. Yeah, I loved I, Path. And, and, and I made a decent argument for it, but I was completely wrong At least on you both didn't say accounts. it was Google+. Plus. By the way, Path is still around. I think they got bought by a Chinese or Japanese company. Oh, no, they're, company. They're, they're, they're thoroughly dead. They're dead, yeah, dead? They, they're yeah, yeah, they're dead, dead. So, so, uh, but, you know, I, I, I feel like uh, people keep asking Dave Morin to, to bring it back. It was uh, great. It, 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 that's another timing one. If Path were around today, I think it'd be a killer. Yeah. Is, yeah. So is Dave considering it? Uh, it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like there's anything really happening, but uh, there might be an opening. I mean, people are you know it, to the extent that that it launched into this kind of feeling of Facebook fatigue, like all of that is. Yeah, Moran was at Facebook, and Path yeah. originally was only fifty friends, and then it expanded to what one hundred fifty. But it was like a <laughs> very limited Facebook and more private Facebook, right? And one of the things it had going for it is that Facebook's mobile app was pretty bad at the time, right? right. And Path was all okay. mobile, God, I loved but uh, you know, I, I don't think someone will will have that window again. No, I, I I think it bears to to since we brought up Google Glass, you have to point out the major difference besides uh, the quality and all that stuff. Um, Google Glass was a heads up display, so right the, the so you move your head, the little screen that's floating in front of you moves as well with your head. There's it's not anchored in any reality. Other than possibly proximity, so it could bring up content if you're like in a room or whatever. Whereas the the Apple glasses we didn't mention, uh, I don't think uh, it has lidar, so it can map 3D spaces in front just, of you. Just like the iPhone at 12, exactly. just like well, the new iPad Pro. Yes. Yeah, but 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 the way I would express that is that those devices have it because their glasses are going to have it. So yes. this is part of the sort of getting the world ready for this all this is stuff. Also how Apple works, which is they slowly exactly. introduce features into other products to perfect them and then they can go to the next level. In fact, it's widely considered that the uh, the Apple Silicon, which they originally put in the iPhone and the iPad then in the Macintoshes, is also critical to this can, because can it's I a tell low you what power I think? component. Can I tell you what I think is going to be the killer app for the, these uh, this this platform? Um, it, it, uh, Apple has something called Bionic Virtual Meeting Room technology, Ooh. which they patented. Ooh. And so picture picture you're going to have a meeting and you don't want to do another Zoom call, so you put on these goggles and the other people in the meeting are represented by Mimoji avatar avatars that are 3D holographic and in the room that you're in. So they're sitting around. In your space, okay, physically. I don't want to be represented by my emoji. I no. just really don't like. It. By the way, sure Owen, I want to pitch you, Owen, on a news story that the killer app for Apple's <laughs> AR glasses will be Snapchat. Would you? Can you? You think you'd want to write that story? <laughs> you just put on some Snap spectacles. I did, because I don't have the glass. <laughs> and 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 you, what what I love is that you had those within arms. Oh reach. yeah, you never know oh, yeah. when you're going to need these. In fact, Jason, I mean, I, if you could bring your Google Glass back, because next time I want to put those on. My Google Glass is up there right right next to me. I'm not, I won't get up again. <laughs> it's right I, I, I hate to be the spoiler here, but I think this is going to be another big flop for Apple. Mm -hmm. I, oh, I, do not, you're, I do not think, uh, you know, augmented, virtual, mixed reality. Oh. I don't think the market size is nearly as big as, oh, wonderful. You know, as, you know, Facebook I, or I, any of these folks I, think. I agree with you. I thought VR was a complete bust. It, uh, yes, VR, but augmented reality, I think. So let me take the potentially, absolute most opposite. But look point at HoloLens, which is not good. Uh, look at Magic Leap, which I, you know, I tried to develop a thing. Not good. There's a long way to go on this stuff. Go ahead, Mike. Oh yeah, absolutely, a long way. I mean, uh, ten years uh, before, but but I think within ten, twelve years. I think well, augmented they, reality is going to replace you're both right. smartphones. You're both right, because Apple's going to ship these in a year or two. Owen will be right then, and then maybe in the long run, there'll be a Well, future. the other part what of this news is— What if there's is, a long it, way to the, go, and 
and, and it goes nowhere. Right. Well, the, the, the other part of this news is that our Apple is targeting 2025. By the way, these glasses are targeted for next year. But the, the light version where you're actually looking through physical glass instead of looking at a, a 8K monitor in, for each eye – is 2025. That's their target. They're I'm more, not going to hit I'm more that. interested no in that. You don't think so? Yeah. Oh, no, no. That that's that's going to be the killer. That's the killer platform. Yeah. The technology isn't there yet. But yeah, if those glasses you're wearing right now, Mike, could yeah. have augmented reality, some sort of heads-up display on them. Well, it, it'll it'll be much more than that. It'll be, uh, it'll be like the augmented reality where where 3D objects are anchored in space, right? Like Hololens or whatever, right? And it'll be very, very high tech. But we're talking three, four, five years where even the first versions of these hit. But when they do hit, this is the thing that's going to replace smart smartphones as the main computing device that people use. I Clearly think. what Apple thinks. Yes. The good, the good news for Apple is that they're making another big bet on hardware that I think is going to be much smarter in the long run. And that's AirPods. Yeah. And I think AirPods are actually going to be the thing that augments reality far more than any of this video, you know, this video vision mm -hmm. dependent mm -hmm. hardware. Because I, imagine, I completely... yeah, I mean, sorry, right now me. you can, uh, right now you can have Siri read your text messages to you while you're listening to something and do something else. And I think if you think about building on that experience where it's not interruptive, um, then you know, I, I, I just think there's a lot more. There's a lot more room for the, uh, for growth there in audio, but but in the augmented reality space, you're going to get a hundred percent of what you get uh, through earbuds because you're going to have the audio. You're going to have haptics, so there's actually going to be an element of haptic. There, there's haptics in this prototype, by the way, uh, and you're going to get the visuals as well. So in terms of turn by turn directions, yes, you can have it talk to you, but you you are going to want to see those arrows floating in space telling you where to go. For children's applications, they're going to want their Disney characters dancing all over the house for, you know, whenever you're moving around in the world, you just want information popping up or, and, and all this kind of stuff. I think that the I, I think you're right that augmented reality is going to be super, super powerful, especially as the AI, AI gets better. But 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 I do think that the way to look at Apple's uh, augmented reality and virtual reality, mixed reality uh, project is that it will combine uh, the best of the iPhone, the Apple Watch, and the AirPods, and all the things that you can do with those devices into a single interface with the addition of holographic video. So it's really all those things coming together, I think. It, I, I, mean, I think you're right, Owen, that the, the audio is going to be a big part of this and spatial audio. Clearly, that's what they're going for. But couldn't it also be a technology like LIDAR that they're developing for down the road, a, pro a killer product that would include all of the above? I mean, I think, I think that they're going to have to create a lot of contextual technologies so that they know where you are and what you're doing at a given time, and then they prompt you to display something. And they're going to take that, strip away the video part that uh, is useless, requires a lot of hardware, yep. put that into the audio product and make that super smart, super helpful you know the the right information at the right time in your ear, and um, you know, and abandon the video hardware. Well, there's one other thing that might confirm this, which is that Apple clearly cares about health. The Apple Watch turns out to be a health device as much as anything else, and uh, an in-ear piece of hardware has all sorts of access to health information that even a watch doesn't have access to. So it would yeah, it, fit in with it, that as well. I mean, can you imagine wearing one of these things and like bouncing around on a treadmill? No, but you are going to have some kind absolutely. of audio. Yeah, absolutely. Well, so, so I, I think the glasses, the the glasses we're getting to in five years, will be almost as light as anybody's plastic prescription glasses. Right. Um, they'll they'll be great on a treadmill. And but but I think the the larger point is that we're really talking about timing because all user interfaces in the entire history of user interfaces have always gone toward having the computers and the technology work harder so that the human to, to, to match up with human nature and human expectations. Human beings are visual. The idea of having 100% of the sort of augmented content coming in to be interpreted through language uh, is awesome. I would love it. But I think that it's even more awesome for the hu for human nature to have a visual representation of things 
uh, as they're running around. And I, I really think that, you know, they're going to be sports versions, sunglass versions, lots and lots of versions. And I also think that it's going to be so powerful that people with perfect vision will start wearing glasses just so they can get it. Right? <laughs> uh, there'll be a style thing. And somebody yeah. in the Can chat said, another, how long uh, before Apple buys Luxottica, which, of course, monopolizes the entire glasses right. frame business all worldwide. And it would make a perfect sense for Apple to buy Luxottica. Yeah. 